Time now for a look at your health. We're talking about the holiday season. It isn't joyful, as you know, for everyone. It can be downright stressful. So joining me now is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD to talk about the holiday blues. And what I find interesting is this is not going to be the typical, I guess you could say, traditional conversation about holiday stress because you say there's a lot of fact and fiction that goes on. There really is. You know, we all think that there's increased suicides and depression um, during the holiday season. People die more often during the holiday season there's more heart attacks false all of that is false a new study out of the Beth Israel Hospital in Boston mm -hmm. shows that there's actually no increase in deaths over the holiday season and suicides or depression and that's really remarkable because how did that come to pass is it because of that seasonal um, affective disorder that that we've heard so much about exactly as the Sun gets less and we have less light going into our eyes to our, our brains we actually do get a little depressed but it has nothing to do with holidays. In fact, the most depressive months tend to be uh, January and February because after we've had many nights, uh, many long nights and short days, that's when we actually get more depressed. So it's January and February. Maybe it's when we get the holiday bills. I don't know. <laughs> that's right. That's when the credit card statements come rolling in. Well, let's talk about for our viewers some of the ways you, in fact, have created a top 10 list of ways to relieve some of the stress this time of year. Yes, and it's not a Jay Leno way. It's actually a, a real way. <laughs> So we all know that the number one thing we talk about almost every Tuesday is exercise. Mm -hmm. Exercise is actually so good to get rid of stress. It actually, by exercising your brain, it, it works with your body and your brain in order to really decrease um, cortisol levels, increase something called endorphins. Same thing with meditating. When we meditate, we're actually using different parts of our brain. It actually, meditation allows the right and left sides of the brain to communicate with yourself, and that can be a stress reliever. And during the busy season, just to be still, it's got to help, right? It is. Focus, laughing, smiling. We all know the more we laugh, the, the better we're going to feel. Connect with your family and friends. Very important, Give, giving that interpersonal relationship. And then all I always like to tell people, and it took me a long time to learn this, learn to say no. You know, you just have to, you can't do everything for everyone, and that'll take the stress off. Finally, and that's good advice. Oh, it really is. And finally, sleeping. It is so important to get a good night's sleep as well, because when we get a good night's sleep, usually after we exercise a lot, that's going to make us feel better uh, in the day as well. And you mentioned something about getting musical. I don't think you think we should all try to put on Les Miserables at home, but what you're saying is play music. And I find I even do that now before newscasts, and it just relaxes me. And uh, is that all it does? Yes, it just a, sort of calms your nerves? It's almost a form of meditation. Music actually actually interacts with both right and left sides of the brain and by using more of your brain it actually de-stresses you as well. All right well happy holidays. Then I we'll know you celebrate happy Hanukkah and and, and also Christmas. <laughs> Christmaka you, you do both in your family. Everything because we don't want to have any stress. <laughs> oh there you go. He's got actually double duty with both holidays. Let's check in with Lauren and find out what's coming up.